Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this question on the community from Caroline and the question is all about uh, is it possible to create a project automatically when uh, transitioning an issue and uh, the answer is yes it is possible and uh, because this question has been asked with the tag of cloud Jira service management for example so basically we are talk talking about Jira cloud and uh, you can do that with the help of uh, basically two things number one uh, rest api and number two automation so you don't really need any other app or uh, or any other plugin because uh, you can do it uh, out of the box and by the way i have shown how to do it exactly on uh, one of my video where i talked about uh, jira cloud automation and uh, this question uh, on the community has been asked similar question has been uh, has been asked uh, multiple times people want to create a project and uh, before i show you i mean l let us take a look at the video here so this is a video i'll share the link in the description and uh, if you notice here this is basically the, uh, the the video where i have shown how to basically make a rest call now in theory it is uh, i mean not even in theory but it is actually a very straightforward thing to do using automation rule you can actually make a rest call and I have made a couple of videos on this particular topic. So if you look at this particular rule here, let me show, just you know, get rid of the sidebar. So this rule will be, and, and, and by the way, I'm running this rule, I'm doing this uh, project creation when the issue is transitioned from some status to in progress status. And I'm making a rest call. And when I'm making a rest call, I'm making sure that I'm also, so basically I'm using the same Jira instances URL with of course the correct endpoint REST API 3 project and I'm using authorization the method is post and uh, I'm also sending the custom data because I want to and this custom data will contain of course the project name or project uh, key along with uh, maybe some smart values this is something that you can do for example in this particular project when the project is created it will have the issue from issues key from where the uh, the, from, from, where, from where the rule is triggered and I'm using a template here because uh, you may want to copy a template so that you all you are you, you have the configurations in place already so right now I'm using I believe Jira core project management then uh, you can uh, you can make uh, the lead or also set the description URL assign a type uh, avatar ID notification scheme and of course few 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 other things if you want to I mean it's all about uh, using the right JSON and um, and uh, what else so when when this particular call is made uh, you can also make sure that uh, you are I mean of course when this is run you will get a body so the body will be stored in this uh, smart value called webhook response dot body and I'm also basically adding a comment when the transition happens that this particular project was created with this particular key and uh, you can also get the project URL, uh, which is nothing but, you know, your Jira URL slash browse slash whatever, whatever, webhook resp response dot body dot key. So do take a look at this particular video. And uh, by the way, I ha I have like, if you go to my website, ravisaga.in, and if you go to courses, you, do, you just take a look at the mastering Jira cloud automation. So I have like plenty of videos. They're all free. They're all on YouTube. But uh, I have organized them nicely here on my website so that you can easily find them and uh, and one thing that I wanted to to basically share or ask you Caroline or basically anyone who is trying to do it creating a project based on a transition although it is possible but uh, just think again about it like maybe maybe you want to create an issue instead of creating a project uh, but if you have valid reasons then yes you can you can definitely use automation rules and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye